welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carolina and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to try out two products that I got from my last haul video. So I did do a Sephora and Ulta haul. If you guys have not checked that out, I'll go ahead and leave that in the description box if you guys want to see what I purchased on that haul. I mainly got more skincare items and I just got two makeup related products from Ulta. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm just going to go ahead and try those two items out and just see if they work and if I like them. One of them is an eyeliner and the other one are lashes. And if you guys are interested and want to see me trying out those two products, just keep watching. I basically have done the rest of my makeup and if you guys notice that like my lids look a little bit pink, it's because I was playing with some color eyeshadows earlier. Um, before I zoom you guys in, I want to just show you quickly what the two products that I'm going to be trying out are. So the first one is going to be an eyeliner. I'm always looking for a really good drugstore eyeliner. So this is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster. This is a 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner. It's an eyeliner and a serum in one and I got mine in the shade ultra black and basically if you use this like consistently your lashes are gonna grow. The other thing that I purchased from Ulta are some lashes so these are the Ardell Professional Magnetic Accents. These are the magnetic lashes. I've been wanting to try those magnetic lashes out for a while. These ones are just little accents so basically you're supposed to put this more towards like the outer corner of your eye. It's not a full lash where it goes all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. So I thought this might be good just because I have smaller eyes and a lot of the lashes that I get from the store, I have to cut them just because they're too long for my eyes. So I always, always cut those lashes. Now I'm just going to go ahead and zoom you guys in like really close so we can test these products out. And I'm first going to be using the eyeliner. Hopefully this would be okay. You guys can see what I'm doing with the lashes and the eyeliner. So let me go ahead and st get started. Again, if you guys see any like little glitter specks, just ignore that, I was just playing with glitter. I do like the packaging, it's like a silver, and it looks really nice and like luxurious. This is what the tip looks like. And hopefully it's gonna like dry down to a matte black just because I don't like any like shiny eyeliner. So let me just go ahead and try this out. Okay, it was pretty easy to use. Um, I didn't have to like hold my eye or anything. Cause sometimes I'll do that. Let me go ahead and do the other eye. And it is, it's still a little bit wet, so it hasn't fully dried down yet, but I think it is gonna dry down to a matte black, which is good. So these are both eyes together and it's like really nice and pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the wing. It was really easy to do the wing with this brush tip. I really like it. And actually, that was not hard at all. I think this was probably like the easiest wing I've done in a while. Now, the hard part is getting this side even. <laughs> so hopefully it looks okay. Just bear with me. I'm really liking this eyeliner so far. The wing was actually pretty easy to do. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try the lashes. So again, this is the Ardell Magnetic Accents. There's like little tips here. So it says, don't curl your natural eyelashes prior to applying magnetic, 
magnetic lashes. I always curl my eyelashes before I apply any falsies, so I'm just gonna go by what this says. Maybe that will like help me out since I've never tried magnetic lashes. Uh, step two, it says to apply one coat of mascara to your natural eyelashes first to provide a base for laying the upper lashes in place. I'm going to go ahead and put mascara on my lashes. I'm going to be using the Tarte Tardia's Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and take the upper first and then the under. I'm just reading the directions on the back of this. Gently remove upper magnetic lash from tray and lay on top of your natural lash line. Put them right here. I have the top on right now. Gently remove under magnetic lash from tray and place beneath your natural lash line to connect the two magnetic lashes together. I don't know if this is going to work. And I'm going to put this down there. Cool, it connected them. Whoa, that's cool. Right here in the middle, you can see where it starts. That actually looks really pretty. So they don't look bad, it's just, it looks so much nicer on the outer corner than the inner corner. These aren't a full lash band, these are just accents. So I get more volume on the corners on my eye than the inner corners. Okay guys, so I think that's going to be it for this video. I went ahead and put some mascara on my bottom eyelashes just to kind of even it out. But I actually ended up really liking both products that I got. The eyeliner is awesome. It's really easy to use. And I like the brush on it. It's actually really good for a winged eyeliner look. And then the lashes, so the Ardell Magnetic Lashes, these actually were not bad. They feel really comfortable on my eyes. They don't feel heavy. They're pretty easy to use. The only thing is that I would definitely go back with a mascara and just do another coat on your inner lashes. So I definitely think that if you're a beginner with eyelashes and aren't really used to putting on fake eyelashes, especially with the glue, I definitely recommend these eyelashes just because you don't need any kind of glue. But have you guys tried out any other brands of magnetic lashes? And did you like them? Did you not like them? Just let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the lashes and also the eyeliner. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this video, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!